But if you're not into this stuff right now, my, my advice is to, is, is to get right into LinkedIn. If it's a professional thing, just start learning how to use LinkedIn and then migrate to the other stuff. I have used Meetup and mostly it's groups posting their meeting notices. Um, of interest. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so it's a common, easy, cheap place to do that. Uh, I didn't notice any. You know, I didn't notice any particular uh, social aspect other than there were comments that uh, members could put into group spaces, uh, talking about a meeting that's coming up or just uh, just passed or something like that. But um, the search function on Meetup was really pathetic. So I, I was looking for the opportunities to find uh, business-oriented meetups in the particular area and there are literally tens of thousands of meetings going on in San Diego that you got to wade through and it's difficult with their search engine to target. Right. So. Well, for that it's easier just to go to the, uh, I forgot what the site is, it's a, it's a, is it, is it SBA, they have a calendar so you can see all the different mm -hmm. uh, business social medias uh, meetings. Mm -hmm. Real time. I mean, so you know, I, I, I haven't looked at it in a while, so I pull SBA up a calendar. Um, it's to help small businesses, yeah. but then they also um, they have networking in there. They've got other. They got a lot of different things going on, and you could look up to tonight for tomorrow, and there's a plethora of different uh, meetings going on all over the county. And you can search it by North County. You can search it by San Diego County or South Bay, or mm -hmm. um, but it gives a um, um, a good calendar search on there because uh, I did the meetup and you could be on there forever just yeah. trying to search what yeah. you're trying to look for. You're almost better off going to SBA you know the SBA like, yeah, calendar and, and looking what they've got going on there. Sorry. No, no, no. I this is the perfect group size to do this. So at any time, just break in. Um, I can see right now these slides don't look all that good on this screen. So what we're going to do that I discussed this before you came in is um, after we finish this and we do the spin net, then I think we can just go live onto LinkedIn mm -hmm. and and then we can go through some things because the group is small enough we can do that. Okay. So just just bear with this. Maybe if I turn the lights down a little bit. Would you mind, Marty? Maybe it would be a little bit easier to see. Is that, is that better? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Um, so this is the typical home screen that you see on LinkedIn. Has everybody here already gone into uh -huh. LinkedIn uh -huh. at least once? Have you gone into LinkedIn at least yes. once? Okay. Now the look of LinkedIn has completely changed. I, I had this presentation essentially done about the second week of December. And then I got on there sometime at the end of December, beginning of January, and it all moved around. So I had to, had to get all the screenshots again. But this is how it looks now. Um, so what is LinkedIn? It's an online networking tool resource for business professionals. The definition of business professional it's probably, it's probably 25 definitions. Um, it's, it's not really, um, I don't think it's for picking up dates or anything. I think Facebook may be for that. This is a, it's, a really, it's a really professional resource. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. And, and mostly you can get everything for free. And I don't know what you, what you get um, when you pay the premium, but there is stuff that people find of value. Um, I know of three things. Yes. You get to use their in-mail service, which I have found would have been really handy to have in a few cases. You can see uh, all the details of who's been looking at your profile. Instead of just how many. Yeah, and you can uh, get the, I think I was looking at the titles of five, the last five that looked at mine. Um, what was the third one? Uh, the third one had to do with organizing profiles, which I was curious about because you said that you could do all this organization without the upgrades. So I'm curious to see what you found. They were holding back. Or that they weren't holding back. You'll, you'll have to refresh my memory as we go through this. Okay. 
I, I uh, took the questions that I got by email and spliced them onto a Word document, which I have on the podium. So you'll have to refresh my memory. Okay. Um, did, so do you? Did you pay the premium to do no. this? No. Yeah. Okay. So you just know what you get. That's what they tell you you'll get if you pay the upgrade. Right? Okay. Yeah. And they were doing a ten percent discount or something today. And what is InMail? That's uh, their you? their service that you can send an email directly to with somebody else in LinkedIn without knowing their email address. Oh, it's okay. It's an internal okay. messaging system. So okay. instead of having to get somebody to accept your invite first right. before right. you can message them, this allows you to right. just do it. Right. Outside of your group. Your network. Right, outside, yeah, outside your network, yeah. yeah. Because you can't tell how to contact somebody other if you're not linked to them. Right. Other than an introduction. Yeah. Right. Question. Yes. When I look at my profile, it doesn't. When I look at someone else's profile, I can see what their email is and I know how to contact them. But when I look at my own, I don't see where my email is on there. And I did say, you know, make my email available. Um, did you notice that you, on yours? It, it's oh, well, I I thought my email was listed there. It's usually yours down is, but when you look at yours, is your email available to you? I don't know. No, okay, well, we'll I check because I have a you question. You hit the tab, view, view your profile? Yeah, no, I looked at that, and, and for some reason it's not on there. I know. Mm -hmm. So I don't but know if they do just know figured if I wouldn't have a need for if, it or not. But is it visible to other people? That's what I don't know because I'm, I'm never other people. I'm okay, so we can look at that after. Okay. I can just, oh, good. I could just look. You're one of my connections. We can just look. Okay, good. So I, I liken the homepage to a, a cockpit and a jet. It gives you a... It gives you a very concise view of, uh, of, of your world in, in LinkedIn. Um, it shows you uh, your network. It shows you latest news, jobs, um, and answers at a glance. We'll go through that a piece at a time. So up here, um, across the top, you have, um, you have drop downs for profile, contacts, jobs, inbox, groups, and then there's one here that says more. So that's like a, a drop down that has, that has more categories that you can click on. So I guess it's, they ran out of room going across. So that's why they have the more. Some of the stuff that ended up in here used to be down near the bottom of the screen, like the learning center. So now it's under more. Okay. Um, there's an uh, action box, inbox action box, that tells you what's going on in your inbox right here. Uh, network updates are in, the, are in the, the center of the screen. And people you may know right here. So that's how, that's how LinkedIn tries to entice you into, into linking together with as many people as possible. So that's their goal as a business, is for you to be on this thing all day long. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure what their business model is. There must, must be the advertising. I mean, what else? And the premiums, probably the advertising. So the more you're on there, the more money they make. And I think what happens here is I think if, and I haven't heard this from anybody, but it seems like if I ever look at somebody's profile who I'm not networked to, the next thing I know I see their name over here. It says, you may know so-and-so. So I also know that whoever I was looking at, they probably see my name and says, you may know so-and-so. Uh -huh. So I think to myself, you know, if I'm just playing around and I just want to see what this jerk in high school is doing, well, the jerk in high school may know I was looking to see what he's doing. That's and he may, send me a, he may send me a, uh, an invite to say, what hey, you, you want to link up with me? Oh, I, don't, I have a question because that, that is funny. Um, somehow I stumbled upon it, like the uh, Kevin Bacon, yeah. and I was three degrees away, and I Whoa. thought, oh, this is hilarious. And it seemed like it was genuine, because I know they have Bill Gates and Obama on there, too, but it seemed like the Kevin Bacon seemed genuine, it's at least, you know. Um, and I thought that was interesting. Do they, ever, do they ever go past three connections, or do they stop at three? Stop I've only seen three. Do I've they? Okay. Three. Well, that was interesting. I was like, oh, Kevin Bacon, wow. And then it told me who's kind of connected to his and then him.